Missouri. It's been a whole year since that devastation, and much of the town is still in shambles. Crews have plenty of mist to pick up out there, and this group that we talked to helped. Well, Dan is in the newsroom with this great update. He's with the pastor from the church. Dan? Yeah, hi, Britt. Uh, morning, everybody. We're here with Pastor Craig morning, Anderson, Dan. Foothills uh, Baptist Church. This is so great because oftentimes we talk about great things that people are going to do, and then off we send you, and we never hear uh, again in person. And here you are to tell us about your trip to Joplin. Tell us all about it. Yeah, we, uh, we were able to go for an entire week and work with people. We were able to help people rebuild uh, homes, painting, doing light construction. We were even able to work on a rescue mission. And, um, and you know, the thing that I was just telling you was that you see the devastation that that uh, tornado caused. There's also the psychological part of that and the emotional part of that, that people are trying to put their lives back together. And so we were able to not only help with the physical part of it by doing many of those things, but able to help people uh, by praying with them and loving on them and encouraging them. That's now, when you lot. consider what happened, and we've all seen the pictures, and now we're seeing some yes. of those pictures come up. Yeah. This isn't a year ago when the tornado hit. This is now. Correct. Correct. Was it as bad as you expected, or, or, or just describe as you, you showed know, up in Java? Um, you just don't realize that whenever that tornado went through there, it was just like somebody mowing the lawn, and in that zone is what they called it. You're looking at the zone there. It absolutely tore down everything. There wasn't a tree. That's the hospital there in Joplin wow. that they're tearing down and putting back together homes. That's the high school that was completely demolished there. You see how the trees were all done, and some of those trees have recovered, some of them aren't, but there's just not anything in there, and all the construction inside of that zone is brand new. Um, people just trying to put things back together. Well, and the things that you all were doing as well, just uh, mm -hmm. simple tasks of helping people out, Absolutely. that really meant a lot to the Absolutely. people in Joplin. Absolutely. Uh, talk about what it meant for you all, because you had a lot of young people I know, maybe for some of them going on their first trip of its kind to be in that really, uh, I don't want to say high pressure, but just the devastation was still palpable for these folks. How did it feel for, for your kids going out there to, to help people out like Absolutely. that? Absolutely, and these students that we're working with are fantastic, but being inside of a disaster area and seeing that was emotionally, uh, people had to get a hold of that and recognize that and understand that, but they did, and they got into it and recognizing that people need help in their life, and those students jumped in there and, and did what they had to do. It was great. Pastor Craig Anderson, thank you very much thank for you sharing very much. that with us. The yeah. good folks at Foothills Baptist Church uh, paying it forward and helping out there in Joplin. And I know they appreciate all the help they got from Arizona and from the good folks here. So, uh, thank you. Britt, will toss it back to you. Thank you, Dan, and thanks to them for doing what they did out there. Unbelievable, some of those pictures. It's been a year. Well, ever try to